Hi, my name is Savannah. I'm the marketing director for Pearl Pass Ticketing, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a buyer persona. First, you need somewhere to start. I would recommend creating your top five personas that you see on a daily basis. So to start, ask yourself, who are some of your top performing clients or customer groups? Then you can take that group and turn it into one buyer persona. So when creating your personas, these are the questions and data that you need to gather about these groups. You might not need all of this, but these are just some general points that you can go off of to start building these personas. What their goals are, what success means to them, what their job, role, or title is, what publications or blogs that they read, age, income, level of education, and location for ad targeting. Also remember to ask yourself what challenges they face, what obstacles might be in their way from stopping them to buy this product, or if they do end up buying your product or services, what challenges do they face along the way, or what solution are you offering to this specific group? Once you have all that information gathered, you pretty much know everything there is to know about that person. So you should know now exactly what they wanna hear, what they're looking for, how you are a solution to them, all these things that they're looking for in a product, you know exactly what they want, advertise that. Push that in marketing, advertise to that specific group, answer their questions before they even ask them. That's the beauty of a buyer persona. And remember, don't base your advertising or answer these questions based off of their job functions. Base it off of that type of person that you see. So for example, let's give them a name that they're gonna remember. Researcher Robin. Researcher Robin is gonna be one of our persona groups. This is a person that researches everything, wants to know every question, doesn't wanna to talk to a representative until they are fully researched and caught up on everything they need to know about your product. They're gonna be looking at reviews, client case studies. They're gonna memorize your website. They're gonna compare your website, your product to someone else's. They're gonna go somewhere else and find more reviews. That's what they wanna see. Why not present that to them right up front? Present some of your best reviews. Help them out with their research and gather the information they need or are looking for about your product, about your service, about what you're trying to sell them and put it on your website. Put it right there in front of them and let them gather everything they need to. Answer their questions, solve their solutions, give them eBooks, give them guides. This is the best way to advertise to this type of persona. Remember, we're advertising to this type and then you're gonna have someone completely different that handles it a little bit differently. Like founder Frank, that's another persona. Maybe he doesn't care that so much on the researching side, but more about the quality of your product or service, the experience you've had, how old your company is. So these two personas are caring about completely different things. So that's why you need to make sure you know how to advertise to this person and to this person. Founder Frank isn't gonna have time to look through all these blogs, all these articles, everything you've supplied for Researcher Robin, so don't waste it on him. Make sure you're tailoring your marketing, again, to each persona. So hopefully you get the idea. Those are just some persona names I came up with on the spot. I recommend when naming your personas to name them something handy like I did. Founder Frank, um, Aaron Enterprise, depending on what you see, what kind of describes them the most. Something you can remember that's catchy and um, you can easily look at and identify what this group is all about and what sort of things they're looking for. So yeah, I hope now you have a better understanding of how buyer personas work, how they can benefit you. And thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment below if you wanna hear about anything else. Thanks.